Good day everyone, welcome to another tutorial with Tibam. So today we are going to be making this lovely sequence cap and the material has been needing our soft scuba which is our poly fabric we will be needing a sequence material, you can use any sequence of your choice you can also make it plain if you don't want the sequence we will be needing our fiber then we will be needing this sequence so the measurement I used, let's get started guys, the measurement I used for the base of the cap, like the base and the band, I made it together. So the measurement I used was 12 inches wide on fold, as the head circumference, I folded the stretchy parts on fold, then I have 17 inches long for the band and the length together. So what I was going to do is just to pleat like our normal um, multiple pleats but we are pleating this twice so the first folding and the back so you turn your fabric to the back facing you then you fold the first edge down like that then you pin it down and take to your machine and sew just normal way we do our multiple pleats but this is a double pleat so you can do it triple in triple pleats that means you are going to increase the length of the of the main of the cap so after then I sew then I'm going to just have another one which is the second one just to show us like that so that is all so I have my double band like that and at the end you make sure everything is giving you 12 inches after you place the second band you make sure it's giving you 12 inches So, I have pinned both together, but it's advisable you pin one after the other. So, I'll just open up the down one to stitch. If you are pinning both together, pin open up the down one to stitch, then you stitch the second one. Again. So, I've stitched it right here, and here is it. Here is the result. I have just two steps. So, you can as well just close it again, like close again and stitch if you want it to really show the band the band way so now i have my sequence and another poly fabric here which is the same color so i'm going to measure it 13 inches long by 12 inches so you can use 12 inches by 12 inches you can use 11 by 12 inches that is the length you can use 11 you can use 12 you can use 13 depends on how wide you want it to be so i want this to be a bit wide so that's why i'm using 13 inches so after i fold into two and so i'm going to be left with five inches with six inches so i just fold the two like that together then stitch just a straight stitch then i'll come back I've stitched the both together just one side leaving the both edges open so I'm going to turn that inside out after which I'll be getting my fiber ready then you make sure the stitch part is at the center facing you then for your fiber also you have six inches I have six inches here so I have six inches. You can double your fiber. This is a single. This is one inch fiber, but in a single cut. You can double it if you want more volume. So you just put it inside like that. But you make sure it doesn't get to both edges. I'm going to show you what I mean. So you make sure it doesn't get to both edges. You see, that I left some spaces there. And also at the other side as well, I'm going to be leaving some space so you'll be able to stitch and close properly. So I'll cut that out and I'm left with it, will not be too much, just lead to this is like two inches, two inches. So that is just that is just it. So I'm going to place take my body, place on the table. Then turn that and place on it. 
I'm placing from the edge like that and like that. I'm placing from the edge, then I'm going to pin down or the stitch down first. You pin or stitch down first, then you close in half and close everything. Finish just like the normal way you close a cap. So, this style is so simple. So you can use, it can be plain, it's not compulsory to use a sequence fabric. And I'm going to measure my hair circumference, which I'm going to be using 11 inches. And I'm going to stitch around it. So you make sure you paint down your box so you get a smooth result. To stitch like that. So now I've stitched it round like that. So I'm going to start gathering using my needle and thread from the band area. Now I'm not gathering after the band this time around. I'm gathering from the band area just right there to the other side of the stitch. So I stop my sewing. So that's what I'm going to do. So now here is it. I've gathered it round, pull it, and make sure I gather this a bit big. And here is the cap, it's going to be removable. That is, when you wear the cap, you are going to put the sequence on it. Like I said, yours might not be wide like this, yours might just be smaller. And yours can be of a plain fabric throughout. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thank you, and God bless.